Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're on to week four. Broncos country, y'all need to go hide. Go hide. Just go hide real quick. I mean, it, it's, it's about that time. Let's start blowing things up like Sean Payton, Russell Wilson, everybody. It's, 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 time. it's time to do something because you let guys like Devon A. Chain, Tyreek Hill, Raheem Mostert just run all over y'all like the Dolphins put up 70 points. Come on. That's bad. That's bad. Like, what did the Dolphins have? Like 800 yards of total offense or something like that? Probably. I don't know. But the score, 70 to 20, like, how do you even let that happen? That's terrible. Speaking of things that are also terrible for me personally, um, you know, Josh Dobbs, he doesn't even have any eyebrows, but yet himself, the Cardinals run game, I mean, the Cardinals have been running the ball really good, actually. Um, and they ran all over the Cowboys, just like they ran all over the Giants. They should have beaten the Giants. But they didn't get the win against the Giants. They blew the lead. But we knew it was coming. We knew we knew something crazy was coming when Diggs went out with a torn ACL. And speaking of another torn ACL, you know, injury has occurred with Mike Williams. I know the whole Nick Chubb thing, you know, happened. And I know it's like, oh, yeah, his ankle kind of bent completely backwards. But yet. Now people are saying, like, oh, well, Nick Chubb is going to have, you know, a shorter recovery time because it wasn't a complete ACL tear. But, yeah. Um, you know, the rest of, you know, the week, and I don't know why it says week two. It should be week three I'm on there. I don't know why it said that. Again, how's Pittsburgh 2-1? I don't know how this team is 2-1. I don't know how at all. But it's crazy that they are. Um, Jacksonville and Houston are kind of going sideways. Houston, more positive side of things with Tank Dell, CJ Stroud, you know, kind of cooking things up. And we all know Justin Fields is in the air. So for the Bears, it's time. It's about that time. It's time. It's time to move on. Get a USFL guy that hasn't really, you know, been able to prove himself in the NFL and just, just end the experiment with Justin Fields. He's an Ohio State quarterback. That that should have been the first sign that things are going wrong. Maybe C.J. Stroud will break that, but Fields, yeah, nah, not it. He's not it. Um, the Bills easily took care of the Commanders, which is very surprising, and the Eagles easily took care of the Bucks, which is also very surprising. Again, um, Bucks didn't put up much of a fight. Washington didn't put up a fight at all. You know. And the Giants, the Jets, they're still bad. They're still pretty bad, like Zach Wilson. Also, if Joe Namath is calling you out, old man Joe Namath, you know, is calling you out, telling you you are not it, you are not him, then you need to get the step. It, 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 it is time. I know Trevor Simeon just got brought up with his terrible self, but, like, yeah. I miss Ryan Fitzpatrick already, man. We we need quality backups, you know, at least in the NFL, man. So, week four of the NFL season, we're going to start on Thursday night in the NFC North with the Lions and the Packers. Jared Goff, is this his is this his world? And we're just li- we're just living and looking into the glass. Or are we just living in his world? Jordan Love is he a lion slayer? We know. Aaron Rodgers and company, you know, during the olden days of Green Bay Packers lore, have gotten the best of the Lions a lot, but it's a new era. Jordan Love, are you the answer? Are these young guys the answer? I know people are like, oh, well, Christian Watson, is he going to, you know, who knows when Christian Watson will even come back at this point. Um, So these young guys have to continue to step up. And, I mean, the Packers just, they kind of, eh so far this year so yeah and with the rest of the nfc north looking like a total dumpster fire this is green bay's best chance to get ahead before things are a little bit too late if you want some breakfast want to grab some breakfast and you know come back for jags falcons do that because the 
Jags are just struggling on both sides of the ball. Defense, not up to snuff. T-Law. I, I don't know what's I don't know what's happening with him. He's 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 going sideways. And then the game of the week is also in that 1 p.m. window, that 1 p.m. Eastern, noon central window, the game of the week, really. Um man, you got Tua Takavailoa versus Josh Allen. You got you know, you got Stephon Diggs versus Terry Kill. I mean, this will be a movie. Dolphins Bills will be a movie, ladies and gentlemen. And unfortunately, if you're a Broncos, Bears, Panthers, or Vikings fan, you really should be on national TV right now. But these are the games we're putting on national TV. You know, two two sets of games where there are 0-3 teams facing off against each other. Somebody will get their first win. Broncos, Bears is probably, is probably for the sickos committee themselves. I mean, my goodness. Man. And you know what? Mac Jones, I think he's kind of underrated in a way. In a way, I don't know. A lot of people aren't talking about him. It's like this guy that's a bust or anything like that. He's just been he's been doing relatively fine in Belichick system. Yeah, I mean, things haven't gone the Patriots' way completely though, over the last couple of years. But I mean, hey, it's better than some of these other teams trotting out you know newer quarterbacks like the Bears again, like the Jets. And again, speaking of the Jets, before you know. Before we go back to talk about the Jets again and trashing on them, Zeke's coming home to Dallas. Isn't that great? Would love to send him back to New England with an L, though. I'd love that. Um, Cowboys do need to bounce back. Um, and, and the Patriots, again, got a solid victory last week using their defense against the Jets. And again, the Jets, why are they in prime time? Why are the Giants in prime time? You know... Everybody was making a big deal about Taylor Swift, you know, in that Bears-Chiefs game. And honestly, I hope she catches the ball at this point. I hope she catches the ball against, you know, the Jets at this point. I hope she comes out onto the field and, and you know, lines up right on the other side of Travis Kelsey. Like, we're talking a tight formation, Mahomes in the shotgun, and, and, and Mahomes just like, yo, here you go. Side arms it, you know, spinning backhand flip, you know, type throw to Taylor Swift, and boom, she catches the ball, goes all the way to the end zone, touchdown, boom. Why are the Jets in prime time? Same thing about the Giants. Why are they in prime time? Terrible. Trash. I don't care if Saquon, you know, is only out for like a couple weeks. The Giants are still the Giants. It is the New York Giants. I hope Kenneth Walker stops a mud hole in New York. I hope Patrick Mahomes stops a mud hole in New York because the Giants and the Jets are terrible. And that is what Big Boy Sports is going to end off with. So I will see you all later. Yeah, I'm done. God, well, what are we, what are we doing with some of these NFL games, man? I, it, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> 